Today, I'm gonna show you my favorite feature inside a Lightroom. What's up nerds? Welcome back to another Photo Nerds University tutorial. My name is Adam and I hope you're having a fantastic day today. I know I am because today I'm going to show you my favorite feature inside of Lightroom. No, this isn't any fancy bells and whistles or editing techniques, but it is something that saves me a ton of time when I'm going through my photographs after I come back from vacation or wherever I was where I was taking pictures. And the reason it saves me a lot of time is because if you're like me, you go out and you take a bunch of pictures and you may come back and you download and you're like, what the hell was I thinking? I took like 5,000 shots of the same photograph and you need a way to narrow down that search to the favorite photograph. I like to call these my Mona Lisa's. I call them my Mona Lisa because there's only one Mona Lisa and that's the one I'm trying to get to. Instead of having five of the same photograph to share with people, I just need one, the best one. And this feature right here is gonna show you how to narrow it down. And it's called the survey view. And if you're not using it, well, you should be. And I'm gonna show you why right now inside of Lightroom. So let's jump in and talk about it. So here inside of Lightroom, I have a bunch of pictures of this little baby lion that we had taken some photographs of. And the first thing that I do is I look at these from uh, the perspective of all things that look the same. In other words, if you look at this series that I have up on the screen right now, all of them, except for the bottom right three photographs, pretty much are the same photo. I just need to figure out which of all of those photos are my favorite. But I don't want to include the bottom three because those aren't from the same series. So I kind of group things together based on the series that I'm looking at. So what I'm going to do is hold my shift key down, select all of these images here, and to enter into the survey view, you have a couple of things you can do here. You can either hit this little button down here, which will take you into the survey view, or you can do what I like to do is just hit the letter N and that will take you into the survey view. Now, the other thing that I like to do is if you are someone who has all of your panels open, in other words, your left side, your right side, your top, your film strip on the bottom, one thing that I will do is make sure that all of those panels go away because at this point, I only wanna look at photographs. That's it, I'm trying to narrow down which one of these was my favorite ones and I don't need to look at panels while I'm doing it. So go ahead and hit shift tab and that should make all of your panels go away. And so now I'm just looking at some photographs. From here, the rest is pretty easy. As I hover my cursor over any of the photos, you'll notice that when you do, there's gonna be a little X that pops up in the right hand corner, okay? This doesn't mean X because we're gonna delete them. This does not mean X because we're removing them from the catalog or a collection or anything like that. The photo is still gonna stay in your Lightroom catalog. It is still gonna stay on your hard drive, but it is going to disappear from these uh, selection of photos, which is gonna help us narrow it down. You're gonna see how this works in just a moment. So the first thing I wanna do is hover over the first image in this series. It's it's blurry uh, and I don't need it. So another thing that you could do is if you wanna see this photo, you can always hit the letter F to jump into full screen to take a kind of a closer look at it and then hit F again and it'll take you right back into the survey view. So that's a really handy thing if you wanted to look at your photograph just a little bit closer but I know that it's blurry, I can see that it's blurry, so I can also hit my X key on my keyboard. What that'll do is flag it to be rejected so that I know that it's an image that maybe later down the road I wanna delete and it'll take it away from this uh, survey view. So I really like uh, this first image here, 
but I'm not crazy about the pole coming out of his butt there. So I'm gonna hit the X in the little corner here. I do like the photo, so I'm not gonna flag this as a reject. I'm just gonna get it out of my selection. Uh, I'm not crazy about this one because I don't like where he's looking. I'm not crazy about this one because I don't like where he's looking. And every time I click one of these, you'll notice how the photos, they automatically adjust to the screen, which I think is really cool. Um, this one, I can't see his face, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, this one here is a really nice little profile shot, so that's not too bad. Uh, this one, he's sticking his tongue out at me, so that kind of offends me, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. So I'm gonna hit X here. Uh, this photo I really like, uh, the photo of him sticking his tongue out at me again, I'm going to get rid of. And let's see here. The bottom two are pretty similar to one another, so it really just comes down to preference. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one, maybe get rid of this one. And you notice how now as we get towards... Uh, you know, the last three, when I get rid of this next photo, with each passing, the photos shift and they get larger. So I'm kind of down to these last two. Uh, I think this is the photo I want to go with. This is the one I'm going to reject. And since this is the last of the ones, I'm going to go ahead and hit P for pick. And that becomes the, the image. Out of all those images, this becomes my favorite one this is the one that I would probably take into the develop module and process. But if I jump back into the grid module here real quick, you'll see that all of those photos, just like before, are still here, but only this one is the one that I flagged for my pick, my favorite. This is my Mona Lisa. That's the one I will share with the world. So if you are not using the survey view, I don't know why, because this thing is gonna really help you narrow down those 5,000 photos to the ones that really matter. So be sure to use this tool if you're not already using it. That's it, that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. My name is Adam, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a great day everybody.